shall I start? <laughs> We're finally out walking on the Yorkshire Moors, albeit I think this is quite a small one, isn't it? But uh, Yeah, Farnhill Moor near Keithley. We're moored up <clears> at Kildwick, which is a fabulous little village, and um, we've walked up to see the Memorial Monument. I'm not quite sure what else. Don't we've know got what to it's do about a yet, do we? Research on it. But the views are just stunning, aren't they? Oh, it's amazing! Absolutely. I feel. <clears throat> don't know what it is. I feel at one with this landscape here. It just absolutely suits me down to the ground. It's uh, having lived in Yorkshire many, many years ago. I've always wanted to come back. You feel and, at home, uh, don't you? I do feel really at home and connected with this this landscape. Yeah. I just never, never want to leave. And it just is five minutes from the canal and you're just up somewhere like this. Yeah. It's been a steep climb, I have to say. And um, we're getting our lungs and our legs back in Tested. condition again, aren't we? Yeah. And everyone, we've got to have to come back. We've already decided that this would be a fab place to do winter solstice and summer solstice. But also, all around us, there's blueberries everywhere there's blueberry plants there's no blueberries on them now obviously so we might just have to spend the whole year to get the best yeah, i think so out of this place i think what just... we'll do is we'll go as far as we can ahead on the leeds liverpool canal and then just come back and see it from the other direction you really need to do every bit of it in every season i think because spring would be lovely we've had the end of autumn winter just setting in we're waiting for oh. snow but you need to do every bit in every season so I figured that's going to take us four years. Do you reckon we're going to get some snow? Do you feel it in your bones? The locals have actually said that there's not been much snow recently. But um, old wives tales say that when you've got loads and loads of berries, it's going to be a bad winter. And there are. There's been so much, hasn't there? Yeah. So, oh, well. Um, we'll see. We're not in control of that, <laughs> are we? So that's OK. So we're just going to come down off this hill, walk into the village of Bradley, grab a bite to eat and then walk a couple of miles back down the canal to the boat. It was only going to be a little walk today, wasn't it? it? Was. But it's the sun shining and we've had a lot of grey days, a lot of drizzly days, and we've actually oh, got a been, bit of sun today. It's so. been dreary, hasn't it? Yeah. But the other, a week ago we uh, cruised into Skipton to top up with water and fill the diesel tank up and get a few bits and bobs. And then we came back on ourselves and back <laughs> out here to Kildwick just because we didn't want to rush. We don't want to rush this canal we just want to soak it all in and we didn't even stay in skipton overnight did we because no. we just we do really didn't want to be in town at the moment so we walked back in the next day which was a six mile seven mile round trip to post and parcels um but it's all lovely walking and and we're just enjoying enjoying it just, enjoying just it. loving it indeed <laughs> so tomorrow we're going back into skipton on the boat to uh, fill up with water again and see what's on the other side of Skipton and we'll do some videoing in, in the lovely town of Skipton. It's a bit hard because as much as you want to get the most out of every place you're in and walk every footpath, we're also teased by what is ahead. I we? know, yeah, yeah, it's too tempting to rush ahead, isn't it? But we're taking it slowly. And the other bonus is, and I know I'm going on, sorry. <coughs> Um, just near here, there's a rare breeds farm with a lady that has got 200 sheep and she knows the names of every single one of them. And yesterday she brought some fleece down to the boat for me to spin. Um, yes. What could be better? It's got it all. Come on. Left me stick behind, leaning up the tree. It's a pub up there, friend. I think it's closed. It's not open today. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> It's a cold one today, Fred. <laughs> it is cold. It's and a grey, sorry, it's a grey, miserable, freezing day. 
no sign of sun and if we didn't need water and we needed to go and post parcels we probably wouldn't move we've got a bit lazy in our old age oh, of no. boating haven't we yeah. but we do need water so we're going so we've got to go through a bridge a swing bridge turn around come back through the swing bridge into skipton and then out of skipton again to find somewhere to moor and we've got something like 10 swing bridges to do and they're stiff they're really hard to do some of them so rich isn't letting me do any of them which means he has to do all the hard work yeah. but also i get cold on the back of the boat so it's uh, swings excuse my pun and roundabouts <laughs> <laughs> but we won't be missing this church as beautiful <laughs> as it is it has got a clock on it that bongs every quarter of an hour and on the hour and we're waiting for it now to bong 10 o'clock and it's got a weird chime. It's not got a chime like any other church clock that I've heard. And it's taken us a week to get to grips with what it's trying to do. <laughs> but uh, we haven't been in the church, actually. We keep saying we're going to go and have a walk around, but maybe we'll do it next time when we come through again. We will come back. It's a lovely, lovely mooring. Really, really nice. Um, there's a pub just behind the church, which is handy. Superb pub. Um, Great and people. And a, a co-op a bit further down. And it's just peaceful. Yeah, it's lovely. Really handy. Yeah. So we better get this thing on the road then and uh, see you in Skipton. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we have all day, every day. And all night. And all night as well. And the worst thing is we have got used to the, the noise of it, but we're not used to knowing what time it is. We don't bother about time no. anymore. And you wake up in the night and hear it, and you think, is it two o'clock, is it four o'clock? And it's always two, two o'clock. <laughs> the witching hour. <laughs> Interesting bridge, this one, in so much as it's semi-automatic electrically operated barriers but uh, you have to use brute force to open it it's lifted out of position ready to manually push it open last time I came through here I was just stood there with the button press you know waiting for it to open and I had a queue of cars not realizing that you had to push it So Fran's got to do a couple of hundred yards down there to turn around and I'll open the bridge again.
cruising alongside a busy road. We're absolutely loving it. The colours are gorgeous, but the trees have almost gone from the woodland now. And it's such fantastic scenery. We just need to come back in spring. Just to the right of this bridge is a memorial to seven Polish airmen who perished when their Wellington bomber lost an engine and crashed nearby on the 23rd of September 1943.
going on, Fran? I'm having a greenhouse day. It's uh, We've saved all the bulbs from last winter. I dug up all the daffodils and tulips and haven't had a chance to plant them up again yet. It's been so warm that the geraniums have still been flowering, but eventually we've decided they've got to go because the temperature is going down to minus four, possibly minus six this week, which means they will all die. And when I looked at my bulbs that I'd saved, they're all shooting. Yeah. So we managed to find a little canal side nursery, which is um, an adult daycare center. And we've got these fabulous plants and they're the healthiest plants. Look at that. I've What's seen that? for ages. That's Bellis perennis. Bellis perennis. Yeah. So they're in the boat colours, the dark red <laughs> and, the, oh, and the cream. And um, I feel like I'm a gardener again. It's really cold, but I've got wrapped up and I feel like I'm a gardener in the greenhouse. Memories of many years' work. But um, yeah. I feel like I'm one of your customers tucked away in the quiet, in the warm, the inside drinking coffee. Uh, my customers used to bring me hot toddies this time of year. Did they? Yeah. Well, I hope they expected you also to uh, sweep up <laughs> after you. Yes, I will, boss. I will.